So we're back here with finally now episode 9 of the Budget Squad and I just can't believe that every single one of these episodes keeps on getting better day by day well episode by episode I should say because this one is going to be absolutely insane because 2k released these fan favorite packs and I haven't even logged into 2k since the last episode so I don't even really remember like what I sold or anything but we're going to log in now so the real question I had for myself did I sell anything it looks like I definitely did we've got two auction outcomes don't know what they are Okay, we got Rick Smith for 2,200 MT and then Michael Red for 6,500. That's actually not bad at all because 8K there is pretty nice, especially to go on to our 33 that we already had. Then we also have a prize pack because of that code I put in at the start of the, uh, like episode five or something, but this is the league pack. Let's see what we're able to get. Hopefully a good silver player. It's a bronze. We don't really want that, but we did get a bronze contract. So now, now, now let's just go over to the team and have a little look. The team's fire. Like last episode, we added John Havlicek, Dave Cowens, and I also think we got Rudy Gay. I can't even remember because it's been so long. Someone actually tweeted me saying that this Amethyst Rex is going for quite a bit. Okay, he, he's not going for that much, but still like 3.7K isn't too bad because with these fan favorite packs, it has seriously just crashed the market. Like check this, if we go Galaxy Ovals, like Kobe Bryant's going for 24K, like KD for 70K, and that's not even the cheapest one up. T-Mac is really cheap as well. Danny Granger, there's so many new players we can get because I have 40k MT right now but also 2k released a lot of locker codes that we're going to be able to use in this episode so we're going to do that at the start and this first one is actually for a dynamic duos pack which is huge because these packs are so juiced so you never know maybe if I'm actually able to do something good and pull one of the packs from the locker code in the first place then get an opal could be a game changer I guess so yeah you guys have already seen the code we're going to go straight into this one and then get the ball drops and see if we're able to get this pack so I wouldn't be mad with 7k MT either but I really just want the dynamic duo pack for a little bit of a blood rush to see what we're able to get. I probably shouldn't have dropped it there. That wasn't really the smartest idea because it looks like I'm going to get 25 tokens, which isn't really what I want in the budget squad. I was a bit dumb there. I'm always dumb, to be honest. Let's just let's just face it. <laughs> then this next locker code, I'm not really too keen for it. It's just for tokens, but I'll put it on screen for you guys. So then you're able to put it in because for my gold squad, I definitely do like having tokens just for my budget squad though. I don't really need them. So this is the code. We're going to put it in and then see how many tokens we were able to get from this one. Is there any MT on the board? No, there isn't. I literally could not care less how many tokens I get just because there's no way I'm really going to be able to get to the diamond tiers or anything. So I'm not really going to use any of the players that I get. We got 15 though. But now this one's pretty similar to the token one, except it's four MT, which is a lot better for us because the maximum amount you can get is 20,000 MT. And that's pretty much a free galaxy opal. And if we're able to get 20 K added to our 40 K that we already have, that's 60 K MT for a very nice galaxy. opal. And here we go. This is the code. We really need something good from this one. We've got 108 tokens. Now we're going to have to try and hit the corner because that's quite a bit of a bonus there. So I think I know where to drop it. I think I know where to drop it. You ready? Just right there. That's not a good drop, Angus. That's really not a good drop. Oh, we actually did all right. I thought that was coming back for a little bit, but 4K MT, like the third best amount you can get. Not complaining with that. But I saved the best locker code for last because this one is for like the best locker code they've given out all year. And we've had this same locker code actually quite a bit of times, but it gives like a player either tokens or uh, MT. Obviously, I'll have it on screen and you guys will see the board soon. And trust me, it's Fuego. Should I say Fuego? I mean, I'm Australian. No, I shouldn't. And finally, we've put the code in. Just check out this board. It is absolutely insane. So I don't even really know what I want. Like none of the players are going to go for that much except for maybe T-Mac. So we could try and get him. The main thing I want though is the 75K, well, 25K MT. So let's try and drop it like here and just see if we're able to get that 25K. I don't think we will because... Okay, we got Kawhi. We almost got that 25K, but Kawhi Leonard can't really complain with that because it's a 97 overall free pink diamond. Probably gonna go for like 10K, but that's still nice. Wow, I did not expect him to go for 4K, but that's how much he's going for. So 3,900 MT for this man. I did not expect that. So just for now, I'm gonna run him at the back of my bench because why not? And now we've got 45K MT to try and upgrade some players. So who do I want is a great question. Like maybe I get rid of Dirk, I'm not too sure. I do really like Diamond Paul Singers. He's been playing extremely well for me Rex like I've never really wanted to get rid of him because he's always been such a beast for me I'm actually very much considering getting Yao Ming because I use him as my starting center on my main squad so using him on this might be a great move I mean 37k is kind of expensive though I said this in my pack opening but Galaxy Opal JR Smith is one of my favorite cards if not my favorite card on my team and that's my god squad that I'm talking about so he looks like he's going for about 40k which is really tempting, really tempting. I think for this one, I'm just gonna put a 40K bid on it and see if we're able to get it for that much. I don't know if we'll be able to, but I don't really wanna overpay, so I'm actually gonna go like literally 40K on the dot right there 
and we'll say in 10 minutes if we get him. He beat it like Billy Jean, then I say tee -hee. And no, uh, we got JR, and I should have just bought him because we only got him for 150 MT cheaper, but I may as well redeem that because it was an extra 150 MT added. I guess that's cool. But what is cool is we did actually get the card. So Isaac, Austin, you're out of the team and we're putting JR in. So where do I play him? That is the great question. What I'm thinking about doing is I think I'm going to put him at shooting guard in the starters. And then I'm thinking about running George Gervin at point guard off the bench. I know a lot of people aren't going to be a fan of that because he is a small forward at point guard, but a lot of people are doing it nowadays. And I don't know what to do with this team right now, like where to run anyone because because it's that difficult with my team being this nice. No need to flex or anything. But yeah, I just had to get JR because trust me, he's got my favorite release in the game. He's six foot six, 99 on both offense and defense, 99 for pretty much everything shooting, 99 driving and contact dunk, 96 ball control, 97 speed, 97 speed with ball, 98 lateral quickness, insane defense. And then he also comes with Hall of Fame limitless range and deep range Jedi, all the shooting badges. Also like Lob City finisher, post rise, relentless finisher, acrobat. And his limitless range is just better than anyone else's that I've used. So yeah, this is gonna be the squad that I'm rocking with. I can't believe that this is the budget squad. It literally just feels like my god squad. And we're currently zero and zero for this run as we did just get Rudy Gay. So I'm hoping in four days time, we'll be able to get a bit of a head start for the next player of the month player. So hopefully we can get our first win without further ado, let's get into it. And we've found our first opponent. His team is so cheesy. He's running Draymond Green at point guard, but I don't know. I still feel like we can definitely beat this team. So let's see who's going to destroy me in this game. Will it be Yao Ming or will JR show up once why he was able to be the first player that we picked up instead of Yao. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, we'll go inside here. We'll give it out to JR for his first shot on the budget squad. And I just took a terrible one. But we're going to pick up the first rebound. Giving it back to T-Mac. A bad release, which is why we missed. What am I doing? They don't come much easier than that. Anyway, JR here. This is why I love him. You ready? You ready? Bam! I don't know. I just want to kick it back to him here and then just pull another one. Is that a good shot? Oh, it is a good shot. But why am I so bad at my releases? Maybe it's just because I've been talking to myself and saying that I'm good at them. And now we're just terrible at them. He's going to take that shot with Larry Bird, of course he's going to make that. And we're down by four. Anyway, I'm going to give it to JR here. Then just run up the floor. Just take it all the way. Go inside. Give it to my boy, uh, Kevin Love for the dunk. I don't really like Dirk against Larry Bird. That's something I'm not a big fan of. And he made that shot. Wow, I thought that was pretty good defense. But I'm going to give it to T-Mac here. Are you guys ready for my boy? Wow, that was actually really good defense by him. But he is behind me. Lightly contested. Bang. My offense actually hasn't been too bad. It's just my defense, which has been terrible. And there's another three for us. We've only got eight seconds left on the clock. I probably could have taken that with JR. But I want to just kick it out to him here. Then just go inside then just get a little snatch back going in going inside taking that one and he's gonna miss wow i need those ones i really do and now he's gonna go up and then he's gonna take that with julius Irving. he ain't gonna miss that one ah <sighs> that was big that was big that really wasn't the greatest play maybe i'm just overfeeding jr i don't really do this on my normal team so maybe that's just what i gotta change anyway we do get free throws there there we go we play good defense though i need to give this one to t mac and i'm just gonna take it all the way for the dunk or get stripped luckily we got the ball back there and i'm just gonna hopefully take this one in with kevin love against his ex teammate being lebron good hook good finish yeah that's the steal then pull the three straight after it's a good release as well oh, i can never make them after a steal but we get another steal anyway and who's there who's here we're just gonna give it to T-Mac and then to Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay in the corner. Green light. I love it. This is seriously where it's just time for the lead change. You, do, you guys just watch. You guys just watch. That's not what we want. That was, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? Is it my ball? Somehow we ended up getting it. Then giving it to Kevin Lava. I don't know how he scored there. Oh, yep. That's the steal. And then, okay. I was actually going to shoot that, but I didn't. And then we're going to take it with JR. He ain't going to miss that one. There we go. I bought JR like the first day he came out when he was going for, I don't even know how much. He was going for a lot though. Anyway, we're going to pump fake there. Or, or take it and make it. But I seriously think I bought him for something like 150K. But now he's got takeover and he just doesn't miss these. And I've now got my bench on the floor. I need Chris to show me some good defense. That's not bad start, but it's just Yao Ming. And he's got that reach to be able to take a shot over pretty much anyone. But George Gervin at point guard on his first play. I did not want to take that. I wanted to pass it in the end. But we're going to kick it out to my boy, uh, John Havlicek. That's a three. Yeah, another inbound steal. I'm just reading him so well right now. But I'm just going to take this one. Give it to Chris Dabbs. He did see that coming but i'm gonna give it back to george gervin if it actually let me pass it which it didn't and then we're gonna give it to my boy dave the little dynamic duo not there but you know we got it we're only up three i just want i just want something a little bit more you know i just uh, not that not that but i do want this i do want that shot every day george gervin definitely doesn't seem like a bad point guard actually we're looking at him right now he's playing pretty well if he makes that it'll be even better he doesn't so it looks like he might have gone to a little bit of the off ball now which i'm not complaining with especially when we get those shots off the screen uh-huh give me that steal and now 
we're just going to give it to Michael Finley. Then to Dave. Dave. Whoa, what a steal. Okay, now he's definitely going to score here, isn't he? Just try and block LeBron. Yeah. Take a chill pill. Let's chill. Let's get this pick and fade. Let's kick it out to him. Going with the right hand. We should be able to take him for size because it's Pedro Stojakovic versus my man Chris Tapps. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see even more with the finish. And when my opponent had his Steve Nash on the floor was when we kind of started going on a bit of a run. So maybe that'll be the same here. Doesn't really look like it because he does just score on Michael Finley right there. Anyway, we almost gave an inbound steal straight after. I'm going to give it to Dave. Just take it with the right hand. Uh, use your strength and go up. And he makes that. Uh-huh, give me that inbound steal. Saw it coming, and then we're just going to pull the three. Not a great shot. It does go in, though. Another one. Yep, give me that. And then that's big. That's huge. That's in. Because watch my opponent make a bad play here, and I'm just going to try and get another steal. I'm going to go out to this. He's got to pull that shot. That's just because he's not in the good form right now that he was in before. He's going to take that, though, and got that offensive rebound. He does miss, but we just can't get a rebound now. We're playing such good defense. That wasn't great, but we do end up getting the stop anyway. I'm just going to give it... Uh, okay, that's not where I wanted to do. But we're going to try and get another steal. I did reach at the right time. Not going to get that one. Just keep a hand up with John Havlicek. You guys can see my defense here. It's absolutely fire. And I almost said Fuego once again. I don't know why that word is in my mind. But we've almost got... What is happening? Seriously, what is happening? That's almost a... Um, okay, John Havlicek. Just finish this clip off. Thank you. All right, Finley. You haven't really been playing the best, actually, this game. So I need you to make that one for me. He misses. And that's going to be the end of the half. So I said when his bench was on was when I kind of exposed him. And that was not cap right there. Why am I speaking so weirdly? Anyway, let's just pull the three here with Chris Dapps. Wow, he made that. All he's doing is just these post fades now, and we're just showing him that that's not really the best way to play, especially when you go against me. George Gervin has actually played really, really well at point guard, so I'm not complaining with that, especially because we're about to get my starters back on, and that means JR will be on the floor. I'm gonna call the pick and fade here with Dave. He does have uh, base 11, so we should be able to kick it out to him here. Get the wide open three. Splash. <laughs> uh-huh, we get a steal there. I'm just gonna give it to JR. Do I pull the yeah, why not? In transition. Wow, I didn't even get his release that good, but we do get the rebound straight after. Let's just kick it back out. Wow, that was that was not good by me. Whoa, what a block there by Rudy Gay. That athleticism to do that was insane. I can't believe that. I literally can't. He's going to take that three though, and maybe that was a good thing that he got the block because then my opponent was able to get the three straight after. But you know who's going to get a three for me? JR Smith. You guys ready? You guys ready? No, no, no. No, no, no. Just wait. Just be patient. Just be patient. Kicking it out to him here. Then out to Rudy. Then out here. Then down. Then pull the three. Lila contested. It's in. And we get an inbound steal straight after. T-Mac not throwing that one away. And we get another inbound steal. And we didn't go back court. And we're pulling the three. Lila contested. That would have been huge. I don't think my opponent's Chris Webber has literally done a single thing for him. So that's not, not the best for... Wow, that's not... That's why I got you. And we get another inbound steal. I'm literally shook by how many I've got this game. I couldn't even tell you off the top of my head how many. So let's just give it to JR again. He's been playing insane. Going up there, another green. Is that a rage quit? Yep, it's done for, baby. We were up by 22. So there's our first win of the episode, end of this series already. I was thinking back, and I think I've literally only lost one game in the whole Budget Squad series, which is kind of insane to think, which is sort of why I have this insane of a team. So we're going to put the one contract on Rudy Gay, and it looks like we're going to have to spend MT for the rest of them, but I'm actually just going to sell Kawhi because I'm not going to use the card. So we put Isaac Austin back in. I don't need Hakeem either. So I'm going to put Donovan Mitchell in for him. So that's the team that we're rocking with for now. Just going to quick sell my shoes because I may as well. I'm gonna quick sell this arena. The injury cards. So I'm going to put Kawhi up for 3,800 or something just to make sure that he does 850. Let's go that much. 3,850 seems so cheap for him. Then this Jabari Bird, like he's going for about 850 MT. But you know what? I'm actually going to keep him because he has 12 contracts on him. So he might just be at the back of my bench when I you know, use up the rest of the contracts. I feel like I'm sometimes smart in things that I do. So we're going to have to buy contracts for Finley and George Gervin. And that's going to cost me 1,200 MT. So not too bad to be able to get into this next game. Without further ado, let's get into it. And looking at my next opponent's team... I think you guys can agree that mine's better. So yeah, I can't really tell you how much I'm going to show of this game because I do feel like I should be quite a favorite to win this one. So we're going against Yao once again, which is sort of the reason why I wanted to get Yao is to cable for other people having him. But he's got Fultz who was on our team before. We're just going to start off with a pink and fade with my man's Kevin Love and taking that three. Actually, really, really good defense. I'm not going to lie about that. But we get a steal straight after because I read him and now I'm just going to give it back to JR. Pulling the two there for our first points. It's Bucket. 
What a rebound. And I want to give this one to Rudy Gay, but I feel like he might pass it out of bounds. He didn't. And when he goes to go and take it all the way for the dunk. My defense is just absolutely on point. I'm going to give this one to JR in the corner. It's going to be a green. I already knew it before I shot it. There's just been so many stoppages in play this game. And what an animation there by JR. And we get an inbound steal straight after pulling the two bucket. I think with the MT I had, I could have actually got Kevin Durant. But I feel like JR is a good option. If he was to make that one, that would have been even better. But we might be able to get a steal straight after. Don't you dare show me KD why I should have got you. Don't make that. Thank you very much. He does miss. And I've got uh, T-Mac to my left. But yeah, that's a three. That's a bucket every single day. Give me that. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing here. But you know when you don't know what you're doing, you just give it in JR's hands and he'll get free throws for us just like that. Like, I should just be able to make these passes every day to like Dirk right there. But we just can't finish them. Like, that's something that's just got to change if we want to win this game. So getting the steal there. I'm just going to pull the three th straight after because we should get the rebound, but we make it anyway. You get a steal here. Oh, I did see that one coming, but I did see that one too. That's a terrible shot. Give me that rebound. It's going to airball, which might have actually worked in his favor, but we're going to give it to Kevin Love. This is a big three by you, my man. And he's going to splash it. Yep, that's a steal. Wow. Okay, we actually did get it. Good, good, good. More free throws. And this right here is exactly the run I'm talking about. We're now up 10. If we make that free throw, that is, and obviously it's in. Get a block there. JR picks up the rebound and he's going to take over. So you know what that means? We can just pull pretty much any shot in the game and it's going to go in if it's like not heavily contested. So that one was, I'm just going to call a pick and fade. And literally all I got to do is just take like a fading three or we're just going to pick and roll. That's easy every day. I'm still only up nine and I want to be up by a little bit more, but JR here is definitely going to make that mob because he's going to posterize Chris Stapps. I'm so bad with my commentary right now. <laughs> Watch me somehow get a steal on this possession. Like it's just bound to happen. I want to reach there. Okay. I thought I was actually going to get that one. Oh, I just reached a little too late. I knew he was giving that. Maybe Chris Stapps here. He's going to give it to Chris Stapps. He has to, doesn't he? No, no, no. That's good defense. All right. Let's just jump and try and get the board. Not going to get it there, but maybe out there. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, that's good defense. And we finally get the rebound. That's what I need to see. We need a good pass there. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're only up seven though, which is really annoying. Like we are playing super well, but it's just not really showing on the scoreboard. So I need to just try and get more pick and fades, more pick and rolls. I don't know what to do, but they're giving this one here. Pretty good play and it should go in. Thank you. George. Wow, he made that. Lonzo, I dare you to take that. I dare you to take that. He does. And that's why I wanted to dare you because I knew you weren't going to score. Give me it to John Havlicek here on transition. That's a green. Oh, we need a good pass here. And it's all right. It's not the greatest. If it was a good pass, then I definitely would have got it. That's a dunk though. Wow, George Gervin already has three rebounds and I press the wrong button because John Havlicek and uh, what's his name? Dave Cowens look exactly the same, but he's on fire now. You know, people say John Havlicek is one of the worst ovals in the game. I love this card so much. I reckon he's a beast and uh, we don't get that rebound there, but look at John John's defense. That's just another thing that I love about him. He's going to get a wide open three straight after it though, and he's going to splash it, but I'm just going to bring John Havlicek down. You guys are ready for this? Let's just kick the ball to him. Just watch, just watch what he's able to do. Just watch this. We miss, really, really. Okay, well, a, a, anyway, no need to, no need, uh, no need to put that in. Yeah, George Gervin just takes one all the way. Posterized Miles Turner. All right, John, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Just get the little behind the back, then just take it all the way. Can he posterize there? Miles Turner has not had a good mi minute because he just got absolutely killed with dunks on back-to-back -back possessions. And we're going up there. That's flagrant, isn't it? No, it's just shooting foul. Michael Finley has seriously not played that well for me, but that's a very good dime there. Pretty much we have to score here. Like it's it's just guaranteed. There's the windmill slam. There's an inbound steal straight after just to go with it. Then we're just gonna kick it up to John Havlicek going up there. And one. Nah, just normal free throws. What are you doing with Yao, my friend? What are you doing with Yao? You ready? I'm just going to show you how to play offense. Just that easy. All right, Rudy Gay in transition. I love this card already because he's such good release. T-Mac from three. So it is a 27 point game, but we've just had a couple of bad moments. Like we really haven't been playing the best. We haven't been able to get rebounds. There's a foul. Like it hasn't been great. So that's why I just thought it's time to bring the bench back on. They were the one that started the lead for me. So they're going to continue it because George Gervin ain't getting stopped. Literally considering Michael Finley to be the next player I get rid of. I'm not sure. The Iceman is literally so good at rebounding at point guard. I love it so much and such an acrobatic finish there. But then he gets to go. I so thought he was missing that. And I think you guys know the result of this. I think I'm just going to show you guys the end of the game. Let's just say after I score on this possession though, just because I feel like show you guys one more clip and we're going to get a little spin, then go up, then finish that. Wow. And with the clock running down, we are absolutely killing this man because what? We're now up by, if I do my maths correctly, uh, 
49 points, I'm pretty sure. Can we make it 50? I don't think we will be able to, but this game has been insane. If we make the half court shot, it'll be over 50. Not, we're not, but 49 point win. I'm pretty happy with that. And you know it's a good game when you get 1,769 MT at the end. And when we check out the box score, everyone played so well. Like the highest scoring player was 20 points, which I'm actually really happy with. John Havlicek popped off. Then also George Gurman with 17. JR with 16. Didn't shoot the best. That's kind of my fault anyway. Michael Finley got all of his points in the last quarter. Didn't miss from the field as soon as I was thinking about getting rid of him. Dave Cowan's played extremely well. I think everyone scored. Yep, everyone that played scored. Literally check this though. Like Michael Finley, 16 points in five minutes minutes in the last quarter. And yeah, here's the team comparison. All I got to say, we absolutely destroyed with 13 steals. He had 20 offensive rebounds to my seven. Okay, all right. That might be something we have to work on. But anyway, we got that win by a lot of points. So that now makes us 2-0 in the series. And I know I do have 108 tokens to use, but I really don't know who I want. Like, I really shouldn't be bothered to try and go through the Sapphire collection, then the Ruby, then the Amethyst, then the Diamond. Because even in the Diamonds, I don't think I'd use a single one of these players. And if I go up to Pink Diamond, like, I don't even know if I'd use any of these. I would probably use like uh, Ill, Ill, like Sabonis. I don't know. So I think I'm just going to save my tokens until they hopefully bring something out in the token market, like a pack or something for 20 tokens. And then maybe we'll be able to get something good out of that. So we do actually have to buy contracts for Dave, which isn't too bad. And we also have another player that we have to put in. So just bought the contracts there. And then I'm just going to put in this bronze player at the back because he's got 12 contracts. So I may as well just use them up. And this is the squad that we're rocking with at the end of episode nine. I'm so happy with it. Let me know down below who I should sell, who I should buy, because really this is your guys' decision. Like I'm happy to use any player. If you guys want me to use like uh, your favorite player, then comment it down below. Just tell me who to sell, tell me who to buy, and it makes it a lot more fun for me to play and hopefully for you to watch as well. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the end of the video. I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to do. I got through all the locker codes and I also think there's not any moments challenges, which is kind of disappointing. Not. But yeah, next episode, we'll be able to see who the player of the month is and hopefully go on a run to try and get him. And I'm just praying that it's an insane card. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode nine of the Budget Squad. Episode 10 will be coming soon. So be on the lookout for that. Also be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for new, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.